Welcome to Veterinary Microbiology 151, Exercise Number 7, A Septic Transfer of Cultures. Hi, I'm Ryan, and these are the general rules. Wear laboratory coat, wear face mask and safety goggles, and lastly, wear safety gloves. And we're done. We are ready to do the aseptic transfer of cultures. The objective of this exercise is to help the students to learn and experience the proper aseptic techniques in handling and transfer of cultures. And here are the needed materials for this exercise. First to do is the broad to broad transfer of cultures. First, using your left hand, hold the broad culture and a sterile nutrient broad. Second, Take the inoculating loop with your other hand and sterilize it with the flame. Third, remove the cotton or rubber plugs from the tubes and fourth, flame the mouths of the culture tubes. Fifth, insert the loop into the broad culture and obtain a loop full of culture. Sixth, introduce the inoculum by immersing the loop into the sterile broth. To eliminate the excess broth on the loop, touch the inner tube surface before removing it from the tube. 7. Flame the mouths of the tubes again and replace the cotton plugs or cork on their respective tubes. 8. Flame the inoculating loop again and put it down on the test tube rack or can. Ninth, Label the tube with your initials, group number, and date. Afterwards, incubate it at 37 degrees Celsius inside the incubator. Second is Eager's Land to Broad Transfer of Culture. First, using your left hand, hold the Eager's Land and Sterile Nutrient Broad. Hold the Eager's Land in the position that it faces you. Second, Take the inoculating loop with your other hand and sterilize it with the flame. Third, remove the cotton plugs or cork from the tubes and frame the mouths of the culture tubes. Fourth, get the inoculum by removing a small portion of surface growth. Do not dig into the agar. Fifth, introduce the inoculum by immersing the loop into the sterile broth and shake the loop to free the microorganism sticking to it. Sixth, flame the mouths of the tubes again and replace the cotton plugs or cork on their respective tubes. Seven, flame the inoculating loop again and put it down on the test tube rack or can. Eighth, label the tube with your initials, group number, and date. And ninth, Incubate at 37 degrees Celsius inside the incubator. And for the third and last, is the broad to eager slant transfer of culture. First, take in one hand the broad culture and sterile the eager slant. Hold the eager slant surface so that it faces upward. Second, take the inoculating loop with your other hand and sterilize it with the flame. Third, remove the cotton plugs or cork from the tubes and flame the mouths of the culture tubes. Fourth, get the inoculum by removing a loop full of broad culture. Fifth, place the loop on the surface of the eager slant at the bottom of the tube. Move the loop side to side as you pull it upward out of the tube. Do not dig into the agar. Sixth, flame the mouths of the tubes again and replace the cotton plugs or cork on their respective tubes. Seven, flame the inoculating loop again and put it down on the test tube can or rack. Eight, label the tube with your initials, root number, and date. And ninth, incubate it at 37 degrees Celsius inside the incubator. And that's it. Thank you for watching.